Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Devin from Haas Auto West. A friend of mine just called me and said that over on Alondra in Virginia near my house, there's a classic car club meet. So we're here in Bellflower. Um, I'm just gonna go over and check out some of what's around. He said there's about 50 classic cars there. So I figured this would be something that you guys might wanna see. Let's see if I can get a little footage of some of these old rides and um, should be a good chance to just look at some old chrome. Alright, we'll see when I get there. Okay, this one is a 1933 Chevrolet Eagle. Yeah, yeah, that's so cool. Look at the interior on this thing. That's ridiculous. Look at the running boards. Oh, you're a Congratulations. Uh, vents. Oh, look! Gotta love the chrome. Social distortion music video. Right? Yeah. Machine gun blue. Machine gun blue. Oh, check it out. Social distortion. Okay, so as witty as our banter was while we were doing this, there was a lot of background noise. So this is a 1970 Chevrolet El Camino SS. And this next one is a 1962 Chevrolet Impala Sports Sedan. The wind while we were recording this was pretty bad, so I'm just going to overdub talking about what we're looking at. See, that's a 1932 Ford Roadster right there. And I'm not too sure about this gray one. If anybody knows what it is, maybe you could add it in the comments. We've got a 1956 Chevy truck. And we've got a white 1972 El Camino. This is what I think is a 1989 Porsche 911 Turbo Coupe. And a 1957 Jaguar XK140 Roadster, followed by a 1948 Chevrolet Fleetline, this one right here, followed by a 1964 Chevrolet Chevelle. one in the corner here I believe is a 1932 Ford Roadster that one right there sorry about my camera work I'm still getting used to how to use this camera but um, most of the time I managed to keep the car in the shot This is what I think is a 1923 Ford T-Bucket Hot Rod. Followed by a 1956 Ford F100 pickup. Mm, there's the pickup right there. I believe this other one is also a 1956 Ford F100 pickup. The black one to its left right here. Taking a picture of my friend here. Still got to send him that. 
and somebody's dog. All right, that is a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Bel Air, I'm sorry. And that looks like a 33 Ford. I might not be totally right about that. 40 Coupe. Briefly, we just saw a 56 Chevrolet Bel Air past it. I think I go back to that one later. Yeah, there's the 56 Chevrolet Bel Air. This is a 1970 Dodge Challenger. It's a convertible. And it's in Plum Crazy. This and the Roadrunner were probably my favorite two cars at this event. It's just really clean. This is a 1931 Ford Model A and a 1936 Chevrolet Master Deluxe. This is a 1932 Ford Model 18 Cabriolet. This one's a 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air. You can see how different people's modifications make them over time. Look at that bumper. All right, so this is another 1923 Ford T-Bucket hot rod in blue and orange. Mind you, for a lot of these, I'm guessing, I'm getting as close as I can, but some of you might know better. So feel free to comment if you, I mean, feel free to comment, period. Okay, this behind it appears to be a 1948 Chevrolet Fleetline convertible version. And next to it is another 1948 Chevrolet Fleetline, the green one there. I believe this next car is a 1932 Series BA Confederate. Followed by a 1966 Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. This is a 1955 Chevrolet Bel Air. A 1950 Plymouth Special Deluxe Sedan. This is a 1968 Ford Mustang. Pretty iconic. A 
followed by a 1966 Ford Thunderbird convertible. You can see in the background there what I think is a 1972 Ford Ranchero GT. Yeah, look at those Thunderbird lines. Okay, there's that Ranchero GT. It's 1972, I believe. This car behind it is a 1955 Ford Fairlane Crown Victoria. This yellow car is a 1957 Ford Fairlane. This red one is a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. The gray one we just saw is a 1972 Chevrolet El Camino SS. Here's a 1929 Ford T-Bucket Roadster. Nineteen sixty-nine Plymouth Roadrunner. Silver car, this gray car, is a 1936 Dodge Brothers. That sounds great. <laughs> right? <laughs> Easily. Easily. There's the Dodge Brothers again. This is a 1978 El Camino. This is a 1956 Pontiac Star Chief. This is a 1971 Chevrolet Nova to its left, the green one. Kind of missed the Star Chief a little. That's the Nova. This is a 1957 Ford F100 truck. I love the custom paint job on this one. It's old and new at the same time. Yeah. 
Again, my drunk camera work. Not literally, but, you know. Briefly, we see a 1949 Chevrolet Styline Deluxe two-door sedan. That's that car right there. This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air, the blue one. Next to it is a 1957 Ford Thunderbird. Followed by a 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air. Here's a 1933 Ford 40 Coupe. And again, 1957 Ford Thunderbird briefly there. This is a 1932 Ford Coupe. And behind that, with the flames, you can see a 1956 Chevrolet 210 Townsman four-door wagon. Here's another shot of the 1957 Ford Thunderbird. This yellow car is a 1967 Chevrolet Camaro. Steel car is the 66 Ford Thunderbird again. And the 1968 Ford Mustang. Okay, here's another look at that 1950 Plymouth Special Deluxe. Here's that 55 Chevrolet Bel Air again. And the 1957 Ford Fairlane 500.
Here's the back end of that Chevrolet Chevy 2 Nova. Should be a 66. And the 1932 Confederate. There's that flight line again. And like a magnet, I'm going back to look at the Challenger. <laughs> You can see the 1931 Ford Model A here in the background. And the 36 Chevrolet Master Deluxe. This is the 1948 Fleet Line convertible. No, I'm sorry, that is over there. Not sure what that truck was. You guys can help me identify it. This looks like a 1954 Chevrolet Bel Air in light blue. Need to bring my monopod next time I guess so I won't jostle you guys around and get you seasick I don't know what that car is. That blue one, I need help identifying. There's a 73 El Camino again. And our 33 Ford 40. You can also see this orange truck coming up. It should be a 1955 Chevrolet truck. There's the back end on that 33 Ford 40. Oh, here we go for the 1955 Chevrolet truck in orange. And next to that's the 1956 Chevrolet Bel Air again. And the 57 Thunderbird.
And the 57 Bel Air. I love that tail fin. And in the background, we get another glimpse of the 1949 Chevrolet style line, the Lux. See if I actually go look at it. That's that aqua car there in front of us. Behind that, in green, we have a 1957 Chevrolet Apache 3100. That's this truck right here. This is a 1967 Chevrolet El Camino, I believe. And then again, our 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner we were looking at earlier. See the Dodge Brothers fender there from the 36. This one coming up, there's the El Camino. It's a 1960 Ford Galaxy Starliner. That's this guy. Really like these fins on this thing. And these little ports. Kind of reminds you of a Buick. Very slick. My grandmother used to have a Galaxy when I was a kid. Didn't look quite like the Starliner, but was a sweet car. And here, cruising by, is a 1970 El Camino. Sounds really fucking cool. All right, so that's our little adventure for today, checking out the Hooligans Car Club meetup. Um, I'm gonna try and do some more stuff like this in the future, so if you guys liked that, go ahead and subscribe, and I can connect you with whatever I make that's of a similar nature. But um, hope you had a good time seeing all this old chrome and uh, all these old cars. And we'll see you next time. This is Devin from Haas Auto West. Thanks for tuning in.